Uh, hi, I'm Sam, and uh, spoilers, you may also know me as guy who goes unbeaten all season in the VBA and loses in the final like an idiot. Uh, hello, and welcome back to the Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke, which I will now have way more time for because the VBA is over. It was an amazing last match. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. Uh, it's on. It's in the VBA playlist. Uh, it was a great match, and Theo, my opponent, was just amazing. Uh, he played so, so well. So there we are. Anyway, we pick up our adventure here uh, in the gym. Uh, we're looking to try and get to Crash Awake. And once again, we watch me being kind of stumped by a gym puzzle like a, a pretty clueless moron. Uh, it was, um, well, if you think it was frustrating to watch, imagine how frustrating it was to be involved in. Anyway, eventually we kind of got around it all, uh, and we found some gym trainers, and it was time for us to do some battling. Uh, we had a new team that we built for this. Uh, it's a pretty cool team, I think, for this gym. I think it's a really, really nice team. Um, including, we've got uh, Sarge, the Executor. Executor is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. I absolutely love Executor, so yeah, there we go. Uh, anyway, we're switching to Hammer here, the Porygon Z. Start smashing through some stuff with Thunderbolts. Uh, we've got up to all sorts of cool stuff since we've been away, evolving some Pokemon, getting things ready for this gym. Uh, Hammer just had no problem putting the um, hammer down throughout this fight. There you go, thank you very much. Uh, we took on literally everything apart from this Golduck, we switched into Cheer, uh, who I also figured would probably have a pretty important role to play in this gym battle. So yeah, uh, took on the Golduck, no problems there whatsoever. Uh, all gone, all set, all looking good, feeling good. Everything's going well. Um, really, really can't complain. We've got some decent Pokemon still in the PC, so whatever happened in this kind of next up gym battle was always going to be all right. Um, we ran around some more, eventually realized we had to still take on a couple more trainers. Um, one thing I already realized from running around taking on these gym trainers is quite how difficult this gym will be. Like these are lower level trainers, but the permanent rain. Uh, in this gym is so annoying like it is so annoying not only does it obviously boost like Pokemon like Golduck or um, is it Polyrath that gets Swift Swim amongst other things um, it just it means water attacks deal so much damage you know like literally so much but um hey what can we do we've got to fuck out what's in front of us right uh, even if it's uh, even if it's BS there we are uh, Sarge literally had no problems dealing with anything uh, because Sarge is amazing so we left the gym to go and heal up our Pokemon, uh, because that's what you do, right? We go and heal up the Pokemon, and we went and did a little bit more uh, grinding, because again, it's just what you got to do, right? You got to go do some grinding. Uh, but in the meantime, we decided it was time to go and get our encounter in the uh, in the marsh up here. Um, following <laughs> following the loss of uh, Sassery in the Discord, his favorite Pokemon, I decided to let him name this next Pokemon. We discussed what I could possibly find. Uh, he went for the name Eren, which I think is from uh, is it Attack on Titan? Uh, I don't really know. I'm not really into like too much of the anime stuff, but I think that's where it's from. Uh, and we hoped it would be a Drapion, and it was a Drapion. So that was pretty awesome. Now all that was left was to make sure we catch it, because if it runs, if we lose this encounter, as far as I'm concerned, we lose the, the we lose it. You know, there's no like oh it's a Safari Zone, you get a second crack at it. It's that it's done. Luckily, we caught it. We named it Eren, um, and it went into the PC to use um, a little bit later on. So yeah, we came up to, to go and do that training I mentioned earlier. Um, and, uh, yeah, as you can see, we just, like, literally dunked on a bunch of Clefairies for experience points. Uh, a bit later on, we were done. And we headed back into the gym to go through the puzzle again. Um, which, you know, as always, super, super fun. I'll spare you. I'll spare you the boredom. It was time for the gym battle against Crash Awake. Uh, how would we get on? Hard to tell. Hard to say. But um, all I know is... We were prepared for this gym. I spent a good amount of time looking through the paste bin stuff, and um, I was pretty sure, was pretty sure we'd do okay. Uh, we switched around some items. Uh, we got the team all up to level 44, and we were good to go. Let's see how we got on. So here we go. Uh, challenge number one was navigating this Quagsire. Uh, Quagsire is a obviously a water and ground type. Uh, so normally grass type moves are great. Uh, however, this thing has the Cassid Berry. So what we did, uh, not the Cassid Berry, the uh, Oh, is it the Cassiberry? I never remember which berry it is. Oh, who knows? Uh, the Rindo Berry, that's it. So we decided to go for a spore into a bullet seed to make sure we definitely took this thing out without any issues. Next up was Big Bad Gyarados. Gyarados has Intimidate and we know it has Dragon Dance. Uh, so the only thing we could do here was just about survive a critical hit and then spore it. Put it to sleep. 
Thank goodness for that. We've got a little bit of leftover recovery. We've switched straight out into our Choice Scarf Porygon Z, uh, which has got Thunderbolt and outspeeds this Gyarados after one Dragon Nut. So we knew that we would be able to get two Thunderbolts off regardless. We just had to hope that this thing didn't wake up. It didn't. It stayed asleep. Uh, we managed to finish it off with a second Thunderbolt. So far, so good. Uh, although it was, to be honest, it was too much damage on Breloom. I was really hoping we'd be able to switch it in later, but it was pretty much done with now. Anyway, next up came the Polyrath. Uh, I decided to switch into Chia because I thought it would be the best counter, even though we got put to sleep with Hypnosis. Uh, blind Hypnosis, Crash Awake, really? I mean, that's bold, man. Uh, anyway, we got put to sleep, but it was okay because I figured this thing really can't do much damage to us. But this is what I mean about the water. Like, um, even with the rain, luckily against Chia, it wasn't doing a lot because we had really loads of HP investment. But against other stuff, like even resisted attacks in the rain, uh, do so much damage. But anyway, we were able to pretty... Um, pretty comfortably see off the uh, Polyrath. I decided to recover here um, to get a little bit of health back, hoping that eventually he would miss a hypnosis, and he did. Uh, so we were able to Moonblast this thing. We were three months down, looking great. Really, really pleased with the prep for this battle so far and how we were going. Um, but here's where it gets tough. Next up comes the Ludicolo. I was pretty 99.999% sure uh, that we could survive an energy ball. Like, with a bit of health to spare as well. Like, I was pretty sure we could. So I went for the Moonblast. Uh, it faked out. It got a crit. I calc for fake out. I did not calc for fake out crit. Um, so Energy Ball came in. Now oh, we just survived. Oh, my God. I'm so close. It was literally so close. We got the Moonblast off, which was really, really helpful and really important. Uh, not only because it lowered its special attack. That wasn't really what we were going for. Uh, although it did help. The main reason we wanted it was so that we could... Um, we could put on a bit more offense with uh, with Kenobi, uh, knowing that Ludicolo might have to heal up. So we decided to go for uh, a, um, a Seismic Toss just in case he didn't heal up, but he did. That was fine. Um, we had the bonus that it was minus one special attack, so we could actually uh, afford to play a little bit more risky. He went for the Hydro Pump in the rain, which even to max HP and decently, especially bulky, Kenobi did a lot. Um, we can't mind it once. Got ourselves up a nice little boost, um, and now it's time to just go for a high force. Hydro Pump again comes in, does some, not as much damage this time, thankfully, and we're just chipping away at this thing now, and it was only a matter of time until it went down. Uh, I was kind of hoping maybe it would miss a Hydro Pump, but it didn't, um, and it just, yeah, it didn't do that much to us, which was really, really nice. So we were four months down, we were looking great. Really, really, really pleased with how this one was going. Uh, but again, it just keeps getting tougher. Next up was the float tool. And this thing in the rain hits like an absolute truck. Luckily, we had Sarge. Sarge is like really almost max HP and a decent amount of defensive bulk. So I knew we could take a lot from this thing. It went for a crunch. We hung on. Uh, we got the sleep powder off, which was so important. Because it meant it bought us time to, um, <clears throat> to have a think about what we wanted to do. Uh, but most importantly, it meant that we survived with enough HP um, to go for a substitute, right? Um, so we go for the substitute, uh, which is absolutely clutch. Hoping it stays asleep one more turn uh, for the energy ball. We do land the energy ball. Uh, absolutely massacre this thing because of our huge special attack. See you later. Uh, not too bothered about you, Floatzel. And then finally was the Sharpedo. Now, here was... I didn't know what to do because I knew this thing was going to deal with our substitute first hit, but it didn't. It went for Zen Headbutt for some reason. It didn't break our sub. We landed the energy ball. Uh, it procced the focus sash, of course, but we still had our sub up, so he couldn't kill us. And we, we'd done it. No defeats to Crash Awake. No losses to Crash Awake. Felt absolutely amazing. He went for the hyper potion. We land our second energy ball. Sub still up. Boff. Brilliant. There you go. That's how to deal with that. Um, yeah, I mean, I've got to be honest, like, I was absolutely over the moon with how that went. That was so, so nice, right? Like, so, so nice. Uh, we picked up our Fen Badge. Uh, we were allowed to use Surf outside of battle, and he gave us the... Uh he gave us the TM for Waterfall, because, I mean, he's a gen. What a, what a nice guy. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, having dealt with the gym pretty comfortably, we headed out, and uh, Barry, the irritating little sh uh, idiot, uh, Barry, the, uh, the, the irritating man, Came up to us and started telling us something about how Crash Awake's his master now and blah, 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 blah. Crash Awake came out. But anyway, the important thing was there was some naughty, naughty things going on with Team Galactic. And uh, we needed to go and help out. Uh, so we headed off to the Pokemon Center to, um, to go to the PC and not put anyone in a death box. Not a single person. But we did pick the team that you guys chose. So you guys chose a really cool team, uh, including some really, really cool Pokemon uh, of Giraffe Rig. Uh, Milotic, Dragonair, uh, we got Sarge the Executor, and he deserves to come along, Eren the Drapion, and uh, Pacronk, <laughs> Pacronk, the, uh, the Gastrodon, so yeah, anyway, 
And uh, yeah, so so there we go. We've done it. And uh, Team Galactic, there was a massive boom uh, inside the uh, Safari Zone marsh place, whatever it's bloody well called. And uh, this guy came running out. What happened? Well, you're going to have to wait and find out for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.